lovely seeing you again. Nice to see you again. It's like a deja vu. <laughs> like one year ago, we were in Argentina having a margarita with your wife, having a good time. Did you have a good time in Argentina? I did. I had so much fun. That was good. The food was amazing. That was a pretty amazing. good party we had. Yeah. Not was... only you worked, but you did have a, a good party afterwards. We, yeah, we had a good time. What is it the thing you most liked about Argentina? Ah, uh, I mean, the, the people and the food, like, um... The, the, I went to one of those, um, I never will remember the name of it, one of those, the steakhouses. Okay. Right and it was just... Like a parrilla. Yeah. You had good meat, good wine. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and it was so nice. And it's so funny because I, I, my wife was hung over from the night before. We had had a good time. So she wasn't the only one. <laughs> she stayed. She stayed. And I went and I think the only, so one of the, one of the drivers from the production uh -huh. insisted on taking me. And I was like, it's okay, it's okay, I can go by myself. He's like, no, no, I'm going to go. And I said, well, then I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to treat you to lunch. I said, come. But I'm telling this all at the hotel through the translator. Right. And then we get there, and the two of us, he spoke not a word of English. Oh, my God. And I spoke not a word. So the two of us just sat there, and it was kind of like, very such minimal communication that but we enjoyed I enjoyed good wine and good uh, and good steak and he enjoyed good steak so, so back then you we were talking about season four which actually was amazing and now season five it's about to come out yeah. there's like literally hunger in Argentina how are you feeling with all this that it's going on it, the, the expectation the fans it's 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 exciting for me too I mean I, I can't wait to see it it's, it'll be different this year you know Bo Willem is no longer with us so it's going to be I'm so curious to see how it, uh, if it in fact does look different or if it looks exactly the same, I, I don't know, you know, so it'll be, uh, I'm just as curious, I'm a fan of the show, I watch it, Karen and I watch it together. So. What is it about House of Cards that catches you, me, everyone all over the world? Uh, what is that special thing? Power, I, I think. It's all about it, power, right? Right. I mean, it, you know, it's set in the political world, but it's something power, something we can all, we all gravitate towards it, you know? Last time you confessed to me that you have never done a House of Cards weekend marathon, which I did like like many, many right. times. It's still <laughs> right. quite impressive you haven't done. But do you like to watch yourself or not? Yeah, I don't care. A lot of my actor friends can't can't do that. I have zero problem. Uh, I think that every time that I do watch myself do something, I learn something. Uh, you know, qu quite often you're beating yourself up about it, but uh, I think I think it's a good learning tool. And and I'm a fan of the show. I really am. My wife and I we watch it together. So. Do you see similarities between Trump and uh, Frank Underwood? No. Not at all. No. No. What about Melania? Do you see her like politically active as Carrie? No. <laughs> no way. Last but not least, if you would be politician for one day, what would you, I don't know, choose like a slogan for the campaign? Give, uh, something like, uh, I would put in there, give back to those who, who gave to you. Um, standing on the shoulders of, uh, of those who came before you. You know, something about giving back to, the seniors are a big cause for me, so for for all the people who, are, who came before us, you know, my my grandparents who came from Ireland and my grandparents who came from Italy and then my parents who are still alive, thank God, but those people who paved the way for us to make a better, you know, my grandparents came here with nothing and then my, my mom and dad had very little, uh, but enough for all four of us kids and now we hope that each generation can then make a better life for the ones behind them. That's 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 what it should be about. What celebrity would you choose as a fellow candidate, you know, to support? That's a good one. Could be Kevin Spacey. It could be know. Kevin. He's pretty, he's pretty good. Are you close to him, like, honestly? Oh, right. I don't know. Maybe James. Have, yes, have some yeah. air. Uh, maybe, uh, you know, I worked with, with Tom Hardy recently, and, and we, we got on quite well, and he's a pretty strong, powerful dude, so he might be a good running mate. Thank you so much. It's lovely seeing you again. Say nice hi to, to your wife. I will. <laughs> pleasure. Bye.